Addition of rational numbers with equal and unequal denominators. Let us say you have to add certain rational numbers. Okay, let's take them as 3 upon 7 plus 6 upon 7, 4 upon 9 plus 3 upon 9, 2 upon 11 plus 5 upon 11, 3 upon 11 plus 9 upon 11. Okay? Now in all these rational numbers, if you notice, the denominators which are there are equal. Okay? When the denominators in a rational number are equal, the addition is very simple. What you need to do is, you just, the common denominators are there, therefore the LCM is always going to be the denominator itself. And you add the numerators. So 3 plus 6. So whenever you have to add rational numbers with equal denominators, okay, you, the denominator of this addition is going to be the common denominator of the fractions. And the numerator is nothing but the sum of two numerators. This gives you 9 upon 7. Again, common denominator. So the denominator will be 9. Numerators, sum of numerators. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 upon 9. Right? Again, 2 plus 5. So common denominator, 11. 2 plus 5. That gives me 7 upon 11. 11, 3 plus 9, 12 upon 11. Fairly simple and straightforward. The issue comes up when you have unequal denominators. But that's not an issue actually. It's a little different and a little complex. Again, I know you people are smart guys and you'll be able to understand this very easily more so because the pattern is something which you have done in class 6th, class 7th or maybe your middle schools earlier. Now let's say instead of 3 upon 7 you had 3 upon 7 plus 6 upon 9 okay and here you had 4 upon 9 plus 3 upon 11 right so the denominators that we have taken in these two questions are different. The denominator here is 7, here it is 9. So how do you resolve this? Well, absolutely no problem. What you do is, you take the LCM of these two numbers. Okay? LCM of 7 and 9 is 63, which is 7 into 9, because 7 and 9 do not have any common factor. Right? So you write 63 over here. Now what goes into the numerator? That is something which you need to find out. Right? So what we do in these cases is we convert these fractions into equivalent fractions with a denominator of this LCM. So 3 upon 7 can also be written as what? 7 goes into 63 9 times. I mean, if you multiply 9 by 7, then you get 63. So you multiply the numerator also by 9. So 9 times 3 gives you how much? 27 upon 63. Right? Or let me just kind of remove this from here and do this. So 3 upon 7 can be written as what? You take down the LCM. 7 goes into 63 9 times. So multiply 3 by 9, you will get 27. For 6 by 9, okay, that you can write again 63. 63 when divided by 9 gives you 7, okay. You multiply 6 by 7 and you get the numerator here, 42, plus 42 upon 63. Now we have reached a situation which was something like this. We have a common denominator of 63. So how do we get the solution? The denominator remains the common denominator, but the numerator becomes the sum of these two, 27 plus 42. 
69 upon 63 right again same thing here what's the LCM of these two numbers the denominators are different so we take their LCM 9 into 11 of course 99 there's no common factor which divide both of them right so we convert 4 upon 9 sorry 4 upon 9 into a rational number which has the denominator equal to 99 now 9 has to be multiplied by 11 to get 99 so we multiply this 4 with 11 to get 44 over here for 3 upon 11 to be converted into a rational number with a denominator of 99 11 goes into 9 to make 99 right so we multiply this 3 by 9 and get a 27 over here net net 4 upon 9 can be written as 44 upon 99 plus 27 upon 99 which equals 3 upon 11 now because both of them have a common denominator we take the denominator as 99 and the numerator becomes the sum of these two numbers 44 plus 27 right 71 upon 99 right 